The U.S. Supreme Court is set to consider transgender rights for the first time, and the case will be argued by a Chicago lawyer. That attorney sitting down only with CBS 2's Tara Molina. She is live now in the control room with more on what the case means for the city's LGBTQ community. Tara. Brad and Erica, this case and two others could affect thousands of workplaces. With this case asking the question, is transgender status discrimination sex discrimination? It honestly feels like I am constantly having to defend who I am as a person. Tatiana Moten, who works in human resources, fights for workers' rights every day. But as a trans woman living in Chicago, there's another battle close to her heart the right to be transgender at work. The federal laws. This that, is the man uh, taking it to the nation's highest court. Ultimately, it's about whether um, transgender people are protected under the existing law, and we think they clearly are. The case involving Amy Stevens. She worked at a funeral home, came out as trans, started presenting as a woman, and was fired for it. It happened in 2013, and a long legal battle she didn't expect followed, all the way to the high court, with our Supreme Court justices now set to answer this question. Does federal law bar employees from discriminating against gay and transgender people? Knight says, We're not asking for a change in the law. We're not asking for an expansion of the law. We're simply asking for the law to be applied as it's written. Stevens won her case in the 6th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, setting a precedent last year. But the Department of Justice filed a brief in the Supreme Court saying transgender discrimination is not prohibited by Title VII. The group representing the funeral home arguing that Congress didn't include trans people when the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was passed. This isn't just about Amy Stevens. This is about the Amy Stevens of this country. And um, those people who are being discriminated against, being terminated from their jobs, just on the basis of them being their true and authentic selves. Now, it's important to note that here in Illinois, we have a state law that explicitly protects transgender people. The Supreme Court is set to hear this case this October. Reporting live in the control room tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Brad and Erica. Tara, thank you.